guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see the maximum swap problem which is from lead code number 670 uh, we will be seeing the optimal solutions and we will be seeing four approaches including the brute force as well after having watched this video you can consider watching the video on finding the largest number formed from an array i will leave the link in the description below and also in the i button let's now look at the problem statement in this problem you are given an integer num you can swap two digits at most once to get the maximum valued number we need to return the maximum valued number we can get and the constraint says that the number will be from 0 to 10 to the power of 8 that means from a one digit number to a nine digit number now uh, let's look at an example for better understanding let's say that our given number is 2736 our goal is to find the maximum number but the constraint is only one swap is allowed now you can do any number of swaps here but if you swap this 2 with 7 then we will be forming the maximum number which is 7236 hence this is the answer so i think the understanding of problem statement should be clear now uh, let's look at the naive approach for solving this problem I, i'm taking the same example which is 2736 what i will do is i can try forming all possible arrangement now how to form that you can place this 2 at any of these four slots that are available so 2 will have four slots where you can put 2 now 2 will be consuming let's say one slot it's then three slots will be left for 7 and similarly 7 will consume one of the slots so two slots will be left for 3 and one slot will be left for 6 so total you will get n factorial number of arrangements right out of these arrangements some will be valid and some will be invalid because since one swap is allowed so there can be maximum of only two digits which are out of place that means i can have seven two three six that means three six should be at their original position there should be no more than two digits which are not at their position seven was at a uh, in index i would say index one and two was at index zero but here they are out of place right so no more than two, uh, two digits should be out of place so this will guarantee that the constraint of one swap is followed but i will try all possible arrangement out of them i will be filtering out only the uh, ones which are following the constraint and within that i will be finding out what is the maximum number so this entire process will take n factorial uh, time complexity because there are a uh, total of n factorial arrangements right here n is the number of digits so uh, the n value is less than equals to 9 so if you find 9 factorial it will be 3.6 into 10 to the power of 5 so definitely it is going to run within one second but this is the simplest solution that you can arrive at now let's try to uh, form some idea which will help us solving the problem optimally now in this case i am taking a number 25864 now given the chance to add plus one value to any of these digits which digit will you choose to add one to it now if you look at it closely 4 is having a weight of 10 to the power of 0 that means it is uh, one's place 6 is at 10th place that means uh, it is having a weight of 10 to the power of 1 similarly the highest weighted digit is 2 which is at uh, position number 4 and having the weight of 10 to the power of 4 right so if i want to maximize this number by adding 1 then you know that i will be adding 1 to the digit with the maximum weight so that the overall value is maximized if somehow i am not allowed to add to the one uh, with the maximum weight then i will go to the second best option which is the second maximum weighted digit number right so i think uh, we will always try to increase the number that means adding one in the decreasing order of the weight if you think about it right so always try increasing the digit with the most weight in order to maximize the number so based on this idea we will try to find out the optimal swap pair like let's say our given number is 25849 and if we are allowed one swap and we are uh, finding out what can be the maximum number that i can form yes you can swap this 4 with 9 you can swap this 8 with 9 and so on but optimally we should always swap the one with the highest weight isn't it that is what we saw previously so i will be swapping this two with nine you can also swap this two with eight or five or four whatever all the digits are uh, larger but i should always swap with the largest digit on the right hand side okay so i will be swapping this and make this nine and two so this will be the largest possible number if you look at the second example then the digit with the highest weight is nine now if i find 
the digit on the right hand side which is maximum it is also 9 but then it is not larger than 9 if you swap these two 9s then it is not going to change the number so is this the final uh, maximum possible number that I can form with one swap no you can simply swap this 5 with 8 and you will get a larger number or you can swap this 8 with 9 you can get a larger number but if you look at it the second best option is the digit with the one having the second highest weight and you can swap this with the largest digit on the right hand side which is 9 so let's make this 9 and let's make this 5 and this will be the largest number that you can form okay so if it is not possible to swap for the uh, digit with the highest weight then we will pick the uh, digit with the second highest weight if it was not possible here as well then we will go for the digit with the third highest weight and so on so let's look at the third example in this case i have the number 5432 now here i will try uh, for this 5 because this has the highest weight i will try to find a number which is highest on the right hand side and definitely it should be larger than 5 but there is no such digit so i cannot do a swap with this 5 the second best option is this 4 i will try to find uh, the right max value which is uh, definitely has to be greater than 4 but there is no no such value i will try with 3 as well and there is no such value so in this case i cannot perform the swap this is already the largest possible number even without doing the swap okay so in this case we will return the same number as an answer so in order to find the optimal swap pair we need to find the right max value okay it will always be optimal and if there is no right max value then the current value which i am checking then we need to repeat for the next best option this is what we have been doing so based on this idea we can arrive at our second approach which is about maintaining the right max value and this is a two parse solution in the first parse let's say we are given the number 95948 we can just go from right to left and maintain the index of the right max value so for the first item the current item 8 will be the right max value so i, I will store the index of it because with the index i can get the value as well okay so because there is no item to to the right hand side so i wrote 4 for this item compare this current item with the right max value that you know till now so the right max value i know is 8 and this value is 4 so definitely 8 is larger what is the index 4 so i'll write 4 now i will go to 9 now 9 is larger than 8 therefore i will store its index as the right max value for this 5 again 9 is larger so i will store its index now for this 9 uh, we do not have any value which is larger than 9 so i will just write its own index which is 0 so in one parse from right to left i have found what is the right max value for each of the digit now i will go from left to right and i will find out uh, which uh, digit to be swapped actually right so what i do is i will be going to 9 so for 9 if i find any digit which is larger than 9 on the right hand side then maybe i will swap with 9 but uh, the index here is uh, showing its own index that means there is no value which is larger than 9 so i will go to the next best option to be swapped that is 5 so i will find out what is the right max digit which is to the right of 5 definitely so the right max digit index is 2 so this means at index 2 there is a digit which is larger than 5 so i will be swapping this index 1 with index 2 and this becomes 9 and, and here you have 5 so we have done one swap and we are done okay so this will be our answer double nine five four eight so we used two pass in the first pass we were uh, going from right to left and saving the right max index and in the second pass we will be going from left to right and doing the optimal swap the time complexity is order of n and space complexity is also order of n i hope you can implement this let's now look at another technique which is based on the selection sort algorithm okay so if you know selection sort it will be very easy for you to do it now let's uh, take an example on the right hand side we have 1993 as one of the example so if you follow the selection sort technique then here i will be using an i pointer which will be the beginning and i will be taking the max digit index the max digit index will be zero initially okay and i will be parsing for all the digits on the right hand side and i will be finding if there is any digit which is greater than equals to the ith digit that means the max digit index so is 9 greater than equals to this one yes so i will change it to one so the max digit index is now index one now when you go to the second nine so this will be compared with the value at the max digit index so is nine greater than equals to nine yes so i will be saving it as two you will see uh, why i am checking for greater than equals to and not just greater than okay now uh, when we go to three 
then uh, we find that okay three is smaller than nine so we do not do anything right now after having done this if i have found any digit to the right of i which is greater than i then i will do the swap and that index is two and therefore if i swap this two with zero it will be nine nine one three okay so here when i try to update from index one to index two i checked for greater than equals to and not just greater than the reason for that is if you follow greater than instead of greater than equal to then your maximum index would have come as one and if you swap this one with zero the answer would come as nine one nine three but this is a wrong answer okay the double nine one three is the correct answer it is a larger value so that is why we need to take care of this greater than equals to okay so i think you will keep that in mind now let's do the dry run on this larger example which is nine five nine four eight okay so in this case the max digit index will start from zero and i will be starting my i uh, from this nine and my j will be running through this entire uh, flow like for the rest of the digits on the right hand side if i find a digit which is greater than equals to nine then i will be updating my max digit index so this 9 is actually greater than equals to 9 so this will become 2 and there are no other values which are greater than equals to 9 now shall we do a swap between 0 and 2 no actually to the right of i we should have found a digit which is larger than the ith digit but the second digit is actually the same so if you do the swap it will be just the same so don't do anything just move to the right hand side so in this case again if you are looking at this 5 then i will repeat the process from the second digit so first i will assume that the ith digit is the maximum digit that i am looking at and i will be starting from the second index and go till the end Th that means always from i plus one now in this case is nine greater than equals to five yes so let's update this to index two and you will not be updating it any further after that so having done this now at the end you will check that the maximum digit index should not be equals to i and also the value should not be same like in the previous case the max digit index was 2 but the value was same so we cannot do the swap so there are two things to keep in mind the max digit index should not be same and also the value should not be same as well so here 9 is greater than 5 values are not same so we can do the swap and this will be our final answer we are done with the selection technique so in this case it will take order of n square where n is the number of digits and space complexity is order of n for storing this number in the form of a string now let's look at the code for this technique this is the code for the selection technique uh, where i will be finding the digit string by just converting the uh, number to string and after that i will be simply applying the selection technique where i will be going from the first to the second last number and i will take the i as the maximum digit index and then i will be iterating from i plus one till the last number and if i find that the current digit is greater than equals to the max digit index then i will update the max digit index finally before doing the swap i will check that the max digit index should not be equals to i and also uh, the digits value should not be same if that is the case then i will do the swap and since only one swap was allowed so i will break and i will end the entire flow and at the end i will be returning uh, the string to integer form of the digits string okay so this is the selection technique let's now look at the most optimal solution now this greedy one pass is the most optimal solution it is based on the idea of maintaining the right max value now in this case what i do is i will be flowing from right to left and i will be maintaining the max value index that i have seen till now so for the last one my max value index will be 4 because there is nothing to the right of it and we will be maintaining two variables swap left and swap right so as to find out what are the two digits that i need to swap so if you imagine it in the form of a graph then i will always look at a smaller value to be swapped with the larger value right so the swap left will be pointing to the smallest value on the left side and the swap right will be kind of the largest value to the right of swap left so let's do a dry run and i think you will get it so i will initialize the max value as index 4 and i will be storing the index right the swap left is not known till this point and i will start my iteration from n minus 1th index that means index number 3 i will not start at 4 now at this point i will compare this 4 with 8 that means the value at index 4 if this value uh, would have been larger then i will update the max value index but in this case it is smaller and if it is smaller so I have seen a larger value on the right side for which I had uh, initialized the swap right variable. Now I found a smaller value on the left side. 
so doesn't it qualify to become a swap pair yes i always wanted a smaller value on the left so that if i do the swap it will it will create a decreasing curve that means it will increase the number so i will update this to index 3 and i will always update whenever i update this swap left i will update the swap right to the max value index but in this case they both are 4 so no need to do anything now i will go to this 9 now this 9 is greater than the max value index so i will update this to the max value index which is 2 but i will not update this swap right because this is a valid pair we will update the swap right only if i see a lower value on the left side which is lower than the max value indexed value okay so now i will be going to 5 now i will compare this 5 with the max value index so the max value index is having 9 and this 5 is smaller so that means it forms a valid pair a valid pair will always have a lower item a on the left side of b so yes this is a lower item than as compared to 9 and therefore i can assign this one to the swap left variable and similarly i can assign the max value index to the swap right and 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 here i will assign it to 2 now if i move to the left hand side i will compare this 9 with the max value index so 9 is not smaller so i won't do anything and after doing this entire parse i know the pair in which i want to do the swap that is index 1 and index 2 needs to be swapped if you swap it then you get 99548 and this is the maximum possible integer that you can form by doing exactly one swap now the time complexity of this approach is order of n and the space complexity is also order of n let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the greedy swap solution here i will be getting the number if the number is less than equals to 10 then this is a base case a single digit number or even 10 do not need any swap so i cannot do anything for it I will get the number and I will be converting it to string and then I will be finding how many uh, digits are present here. So I will be taking three different variables max value index swap left and swap right. So initially the last index will be the max value index and the swap right. Then I will be iterating for from the second last index till the first index and I will be checking if the ith index value is actually larger than the max value index then I will be just updating the max value index. I will not do anything. But if I find that the max value index is having, let's say, a, va a value B and the ith index is having, let's say, a value A, so A is smaller than B. That means I have found a valid pair which I can swap and, and uh, increase the value of the number. So in this case, the swap left will be assigned to this I, which will be the current value and the larger value max value index will be assigned to swap right. So this makes a valid pair. So whenever I find a decreasing curve, the top item will always be the swap right and the bottom most item that means the local minima will always be the uh, swap left okay but if i find another decreasing curve after this then again uh, we will be forming a new swap pair right so our goal should always be to swap the numbers with the highest weight okay so so that will only maximize our entire result so I hope you were able to understand this. If you still have any doubt, then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.